hello, my name is Emily Ruggiero. I am a second year medical student at the University of South Carolina. My team and I worked on novel alpha calcitonin gene related peptide agonist analogs in the treatment of cardiovascular diseases. All of the results that I'm discussing today are, um, are listed in our, in our patent, which is listed below. Congestive heart failure was a main concern for our lab, and that occurs when the heart is unable to pump sufficiently to meet the body's needs. It is one of the leading causes of death nationally as well as worldwide. And despite the availability of different classes of therapeutic agents, half of the people who develop heart failure die within five years of their diagnosis. So what is alpha-CGRP and why are we interested in it? It is a 37 amino acid neuropeptide that is synthesized in the central nervous system as well as the peripheral nervous system. It is an extremely potent vasodilator and has positive ionotropic and chronotropic effects. It has proven cardioprotective effects, including decreased expression of apoptotic and pro-inflammatory proteins, decreased um, hypoxia-induced inflammation, as well as inhibiting oxidative stress. In humans, studies have shown that circulating levels of alpha-CGRP are elevated during the initial and middle stages of heart failure, but they decline as the heart failure progresses. An intravenous infusion of alpha-CGRP for 24 hours significantly improves cardiac functional parameters in patients with heart failure. So why isn't this being used more often? That is more likely due to the low bioavailability of alpha-CGRP, which means that as soon as this peptide enters circulation or serum, it is rapidly degraded within five minutes by proteases. And therefore, our strategy to use alpha-CGRP as a potential therapeutic is to prolong the amount of time that it is in serum. In other words, prevent its rapid degradation by the protease. So we used a peptoid chemistry approach to synthesize our alpha-CGRP analogs, which will increase the half-life in serum. So we did a peptide-peptoid hybrid, and what a peptoid means, um, they are repeating poly-N substituted glycine units, which essentially means that we took our, um, our group from in our amino acid from the alpha carbon and moved it to the nitrogen atom. And the reason we do that is because it increases the stability in serum and it also decreases the susceptibility to proteases. So we took this peptoid and our peptoid is NMEG and we added it to the N terminal of alpha CGRP as well as the C terminal of alpha CGRP. Um, and below you can see in panel A, that the cells are H9C2 cardiac cells for, of our um, rats were not toxic to those cells. So the treatment of our N-terminal and C-terminal NMEG peptoid were not toxic to our cells. And you can compare that to the native mouse alpha-CGRP. And you can look in the bottom right corner of panel A where you can see DMSO, which is a detergent. So that was our control and that there were no cells that survived that treatment. In panels B and C, these are really important because they are our index of the bioavailability of our peptoids in the serum of the mice. You can see in panel B that the systolic blood pressure decreased in a time-dependent manner for our N-terminal and meg alpha CGRP treatment. However, in panel C, you do not see that same treatment. Therefore, these indicated to us that the N-terminal and meg had increased pharmacodynamic availability in serum and therefore gave us the uh, boost to keep going forward with the N-terminal NMEG. In order to determine alpha-CGRP's benefits in an actual stress-induced um, heart failure mice, we had to induce a pressure overload heart failure model in which we did a transiortic constriction surgery. So what we did was constrict the aorta, which would increase the pressure that the heart, that the ventricle has to work against in order to pump the same amount of blood to the rest of the body. On day zero, as you can see in panel B or our timeline panel B, day zero, we performed the tax surgery. And um, every alternating day after that first surgery, we did a subcutaneous delivery of our N-terminal NMEG CGRP. And on every seventh day after that initial um, subcutaneous delivery, we did an echocardiograph to get the results shown in panel C and D. 
if you look in the right upper corner, you can see our four mouse groups, which we had A for sham. Um, then we had sham plus our NMEG, C, the transaortic constriction without treatment, and D, transaortic constriction with treatment. In panel C, you can see that the sham plus, I mean, sham and our sham plus our treatment group, there really isn't a difference, which was to be expected, um, considering there wasn't any stressor-induced model on those mice. Um, but however, in the transaortic constriction, you can see that the, perfen the percent fraction shortening had significantly decreased. And this indicated that we had successfully induced heart failure in these mice. And when we did um, a treatment group with the, with the TAC surgery, there was an increase in percent fraction shortening. And this indicates the cardioprotective effects of our NMEG peptoid. In panel D, you can see the same thing of our results of heart weight for sham and the sham plus treatment group. There really wasn't a difference, which was to be expected. However, in the transverse aortic constriction mice, you can see the increase in heart weight. This was taken um, during an autopsy after sacrifice, after the day 30 of the subcutaneous injection. And in the transaortic constriction mice with our, our treatment group, there was a decrease. And this, once again, the increase in heart weight during our TAC procedure increased. Um, and that showed us that we successfully induced heart failure. And the treatment group shows the cardioprotective effect of the NBEG in those heart failure induced mice. In conclusion, our results demonstrated that the NMEG is non-toxic to cardiac cells, um, and the subcutaneous administration of our NMEG improves cardiac function in pressure overload-induced heart failure mice. Our N-terminal NMEG CGRP is a novel therapeutic agent to treat and prevent cardiovascular diseases. For future direction, our team would like to test the cardioprotective effect of NMEG in pressure overload and myocardial infarction mouse models, and uh, we would like to test the cardioprotective effect in the treatment arm of the study of pressure overload heart failure mice, as well as initiate um, a new investigational drug application to the FDA, which will lead to clinical trials. Thank you so much for listening, and I will take any questions you have at this time. Okay, any questions from the audience? All right, there's one question. Were there any other hemodynamic parameter changes with C-terminal NMEG CGRP injection? Other than the lowered hypertension and the heart weight and percent fraction shortening, nothing that wasn't relevant to um, this study. Okay, well, thank you very much and great work. Thank you. Mm -hmm.